Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Good evening, Doctor. You've never faced, let alone killed, a vampire Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. Stop fooling yourself. You've never faced a vampire before. You wouldn't stand a chance. Well, that's not true, sir. I've already faced... Oh, really? <laughs> well, we... What do you mean? I entered the vampire's den. The stench was terrible. I was ready to kill it. But then I saw it. Just a suffering soul like you and me. I spared her. Tell me about the vampire you spared. It was... She was a girl. Her body was a mess. I could see pus running from the deep wound. She was crying in pain. You cared about her. That's what... Yes. But she was a truly evil creature. I'm haunted by the tragedies she caused ever since I spared her. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown... Why is it that you sound so... Afraid. You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Goodbye. And good hunt. Glad to. Did you see what? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream, and there was this man dead just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful. A woman scream? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. Goodbye, Miss... You again? What... I've identified the men who stole from you. You were right. They were members of some self-proclaimed militia. I knew it! Did you find the money, too? Yes. Here it is. They thought they could finance their activities with it. I never thought a man like you would be kind enough to... I misjudged you. Badly. I'm... I'm... Well... Thank you, sir. Will you give the money back to your comrades, then? Fuck those bastards who fired me. 
I'll give the money to Miss Gillingham. Her son Jack was a friend of mine. He was killed recently. I know you were friends with Miss Gillingham's son, Jack. Tell me about his death. Jack's murder has been a shock to the neighborhood. A sign that the situation is now out of control. Why is that? There has always been tension between the wet boot boys and members of the trade union. But a murder? That's a first. Who killed him? No one will ever know. One thing is certain. While Jack was alive, I had one less reason to drink. Why does that upset you so much? I wish I had found the time and words to tell him how important he was to me before it was too late. Another failure for Giselle Paxton. Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. Well, I'll leave you for now. 